Hey, Flipper here. I Yo, Flipper. He wants me to spit on his dumbbells? Cap, cap, cap. All right, guys. I don't know anything about this game. This game goes hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. I've been wanting to play this since before my break. Mwah, thank you for the tea grubbies. Home safety hotline. Uh, mailbox. Who's messaging me? Welcome. Oh my God, this is like old school PC. Welcome to the home safety hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new home safety hotline responder. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee co coupons. Coupons. Uh, subject line, notice video files on desktop. Did you call team due to an error with our archival network? Some of you may notice video files from our video archived appearing on your desktops. Huh? Please disregard these. They will be cleared up in due time. Did I mess up? What did I do? Yoh, welcome in. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm gonna clock in, I guess. Huh? Bed bugs. Ew. I hate bed bugs. Bed bugs, bees. I guess let me read through these. Ooh, forbidden action. Okay, answer. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a okay. client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. Okay. Once you diagnose their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard, and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Okay. Welcome to the HSH family. I Thanks! Talk again soon. Bed bugs are small insects known for feeding on the blood of humans. Do not call me a bed bug. I'm not the bed bug. Oh, wait, I'm not ready. I was reading stuff. Ah, okay. Fuck. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. Okay. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Put on hold. hold. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Rack. I'm pretty sure it's not a raccoon. Look at this guy. Could he commit crimes? Oh, it might be mice, yeah? Commonly reporting on small round droppings. I think it's a... That doesn't sound like a mouse, what? My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Specks of dirt. I don't think, okay, so process of elimination. It might be bed bugs, but it doesn't say anything about them being small. The raccoon? You think it's the raccoon? I'm... I don't think so. I don't think so. That's why are doing buzzing sounds and... Thoughts of decay? Thoughts of decay? Thoughts of decay. So you, you see a house fly and you think of decay? I don't know. I don't... Thoughts of decay is my sexy metal band? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, it's cockroaches. It's cockroaches. That appear similar to coffee grounds. Cockroaches. We did it! I answered a call. Hi, Hi Grace. I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Okay. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds <laughs> kind of like. Ee, ee, ee. <laughs> you know? It's Nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises. It sounds like what? I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. <laughs> it sounds like what? E <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> e I think it's a mouse, yeah? Mice. Mises. The Mises. Gremlin screaming. <laughs> Yeah, look at us. We're pros. Ooh. 
Yes. Thank you. There's more piles of crap in my yard. It's a gopher. Because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take what care of fuck? it once and for all. Once and for all. Please hold it. I definitely think it's a his ex, <laughs> his ex is shitting in his yard. I feel like there's a story with that. Is that normal? <laughs> is that normal? I'm sleepy. My brain is tired. I laughed too much earlier, so now I'm just like exing on everything. I think it is a mole. Between moles and gophers? Oh, that's a good question. Choose a burrow, and they're probably commonly damaging damaging gardens. Oh, is it gophers? What's the difference? Oh, thank you for the tea, Robbie. Thank you, thank you. Mwah. <laughs> what kind of iced coffee are you having? The cold kind? Are your hands cold? <laughs> How dare you touch my face with your cold ass hands? Got warm hands? Good. I got cold cheeks. <laughs> I'm always cold. You literally said you're the cold feet on lower back kind of person. What do you mean? No, hey, whoa, hold on. That's different. That's different. <laughs> and literally, it's my cold feet between thighs, okay? I. <laughs> You can't tell me you've never had a partner shove her cold feet between your thighs. Cause I am that person. I'm always cold. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing my best. I understand if you're talking about a, a gopher or a fucking mole. I don't know the difference. So I think it's a mole because it isn't going away. So I'm gonna say it's a mole. Oh, what well, did it? Hi, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twig Segment here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. So running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. What the hell? Clock out. Our first day! Wait, hold on. Television commercial. House fires. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> is this his hand? Is this normal for y'all? Is this is this a normal thing? Gonna give all the credits. Cute. Love it. Hello, what is this email? You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. Quit before it's too late. Oh, I got a discount. Oh, shit. Well, back to the grind. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, my bad. Carol. Oh, it's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Yeah! Please be aware that this information Let's go. is confidential oh. and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. Okay, you guys haven't seen anything, right? Permissions have been updated. New entries available now. Bat! Look at the little guy! Ooh. He said something very controversial. That's too controversial for here. Oh. Bent. Oh. Uh, sorry, I'm a. Uh, oh my God. I'm calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think something is getting in. Getting in. Bed teeth. Bed teeth are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. Homeowners infested with bed teeth are often report mild discomforts when sleeping, such as tickling, itching, and mild, more rarely slimy acidic residue on their skin. Hello? Ew? Huh? 
Huh. Cellar growths are a large species of fungi that are known to grow in damp, dark environments such as cellars. Homeowners infested with cellar growths commonly report a slimy residue, the sound of dripping or stretching. Hello? Wait, huh? Or strange glows coming from their cellar. Nope! 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 Hello? What the fuck is- Hi. What are those? Common hobs are the most common species of hob found in household. They are small humanoid creatures. Huh. Wait, no, <laughs> no. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. So he just like chills. Wow. False beats. Uh, false beets are creatures with beet-like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. False beets are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they take root in the human's stomach, feeding off its nutrients for a lifetime. This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of the human life. Whoa! Pipe growth. Pipe growths are a type of fungus that are known for making homes inside damp tube-like structures such as pipe. Pipe growths are known to make loud, bubbling, digestive noises after they eat a few- After they eat a full meal? Hello? Pipe growths are known to attempt to eat anything that comes inside their domain. Most commonly, accidents occur when a human child attempts to reach their hand inside the home. Do not attempt to reach your hand inside an active pipe growth home. <gasps> what? Bro. Oh, hell no. Bro, could you imagine going in your kitchen and there's just a little critter, like... Ooh. The fuck is this? So sneezing... Um, black mold is not immune to cause... Also known to cause allergic reactions or breathing problems. Okay, yeah, let's do mold. Black mold. No eating here tonight. Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. <laughs> what? Envious of me. Bob from like accounting. Bob going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto. Going through going through my papers. Please it's a hub. Desk Cobb. He's so angry. Fucking Bob. <laughs> Sounds like a hob, yo. I want a hob, man. I wish I had one. This little guy that like cleans up my house. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Oh, 84,000. Oh, that's definitely not in this economy. Holy shit. Two bedroom, three baths for 100? No way. I wish. The most unbelievable thing is these prices. Four bedroom for 120,000? No. Ooh. Missing person. 89,000 for a two bedroom, two bath? Cute. This is a missing person's alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect okay. Is described to be approximately six feet tall. Is it Maple There's County? Wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately ten twenty-five. Oh. Please. Twelve thousand. Unusual activity to your local. Can we talk about how this house is five bedrooms, six baths, 2,800 square feet, and it's $12,000? House is haunted. <laughs> Cox gun. House is haunted. <laughs> but it's overgrown. Bro, I would take an overgrown haunted house for $12,000? You kidding me? It's too late for you now. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you. If you end up like me, joining me in this hole, they haven't found me yet. It's safe here. 
the fuck you mean? Huh? Huh? Attention call team. Our network team is migrating our backend services over to a new hosting provider this week. Please be sure that you're studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you're on the phone with the client. <gasps> no. Oh, no. Oh. I'm here. I'm paying attention. We've updated your permissions. You should now have oh, fuck. To okay, Carol. Oh, God. A bogger. Oh. Oh. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. What? And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. No way. Yo. No fucking way. What I'm sorry if I heard a mouse saying help me. Evolution? I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon thee. Huh? huh? Our eyes rest upon thee? What? Gnome! 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 Oh my god! See, this is why you don't trust these little fuckers. That's what I'm saying. The woman was too stunned to speak. Damn, he, he really pulling the, hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear, but like, not in a good way. Hey, how you doing, little mama? Let me whoop in your ear. Tell you something that you might like to hear. <laughs> Bro, he's a mouth breather. Okay. So we're thinking the fake turn up false beat. I think the pipes is like a red herring, right? Drop the beat. Drop the beat. We're gonna get a call of this guy being like, dude, my pipes just ate my kid. And we're like, mm, it's definitely a stair slug. <laughs> Hello? Alicia. The police told me to call this number, so I, uh, hope I got the right number here. Anyway, the police uh, told me. I think, I think somebody is stalking me. I can Ooh. see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there. Oh, what we know who this is. I've been sleeping on it's your favorite. Week. What is it called? Night gnome? Sky? I think it is. She kind of sounds like a gnome too. True. Boom. He do got that asthma though. I knew it. Okay. We got this. May. Okay. You! Oh, you! My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old. Oh, He's no. For what? Silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I <miss him>. What? <laughs> the damn closet bees? They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds. It's 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 this. It's the false artifact. He got eight. He is gone, baby girl. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Bees. Bees. The craft singles. I just said I want deli. I want deli American cheese. What the fuck is deli American cheese? Boar's head American. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Flipper here. I Yo, got Flipper. Dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. Know what I mean? I mean these bells. He wants me to okay. spit on his dumbbells. Yeah. Juice. Uh, Juice. Hey, huh? Who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now, easy there. Get away. Get away. What? 
the hell? What the hell? Bro, it's Friday. I want to go. I got 30 minutes left on the clock. Let me go. <laughs> I want to go home. Do we have uh, mental health insurance? Can I... <laughs> Can I see a therapist? Animation? The hell is this? Oh, hell no. Are any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own? So Annabelle? There were Satan worshippers in my shed. In my I shed? No good teenager haven't joined up with one of those dungeon dragons. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Dreamweavers are large spider-like creatures known to weave dreams into reality. Dreamweavers are parasitic in nature and they feed off humans of our dreams of humans while they sleep. Well, this does not cause direct harm to humans. It can lead to increased anxiety in large webs can they weave can often trap dust, pets, and children, causing further complications. What do you know? No. Yeah, if you, you notice that, that, huh? Caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. I Huh? A blight? What the hell? It's so quiet. I don't This <sighs> ain't company assassins on the prank caller. I know they fucking She was like, mm. You don't have to worry about him anymore. We took care of him. Hello? What? Oh my god. Oh god. Yo! It, it took my daughter. It took my daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took yeah. her with it. Tendrils? Please, how old? Tendrils? Tendrils? Kara, <laughs> we'll say pipe growth. One time we say pipe growth, it will be right, right? You are no help. I, I won't let her stay underground with that thing alone. I'm going after her. Tell my mother I love her. Oh no! We were wrong. Well, shit. Oh my back. Yes. Who can I help you? Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to mm. some punks outside with flashlights or something. You know what this is, right? Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. You might have something we call around these parts and uh, a night wish. I ain't do nothing much. You're just a little sick guy. I'd like to whisper in your windows, but just ignore them and don't go away. Just don't listen to them. It'll be fine. Raccoons? Is that raccoon? It sure fucking is. Your shift has ended. Yeah, we are done. We are done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleep time. We are going to call it on that. But I hope you guys had an amazing night. I will see you guys soon. Bye.